my honest advice for virtual wholesaling success. What's up guys, Zach Ed here. And in today's video, I'm just gonna be spitting game on my honest advice for what you need to know about virtual wholesaling success. I'm talking with someone who is trying to get started in virtual wholesaling and I break down exactly the tools and the success and what you need to know and my honest advice on how to get success there. Before we get into it guys, remember you need to smash that like button and subscribe to get the most free value from me. Let's get in the clip. Hello. Now we not. Oh, Hello? is that me? That's you. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Thank you. You're in New York, right? Yeah, New York. Uh, okay. trying to do Wait. Florida. <laughs> I did not. Okay, I did not forget. All right. So, um, <laughs> great. What's your question? How can I help you become a better real estate wholesaler today? Yeah, I've got a couple questions. All right. Go ahead. I'll be ready. Sorry, I got on my son. Um, well, I we have a couple. I'm actually JB right now. I'm glad that you guys were talking about that. Um, because he actually has worked so well as far as like getting an actual warm lead, so can't complain. Uh, so now we have some leads, but you know, they're nowhere where I usually work, so it's kind of like working around. I'm, I'm the one in charge of getting the buyer. Uh, so it's kind of, you know, difficult where I have no clue, like I have no connections, um, you know, other states. Um, and then we have this one lead that has like no comps, like nowhere for me to comp anything, it's very rural, but I feel really bad because the, the, the person, the seller is having, is going through a really tough time. So I'm really like, want to try to help her, but then I don't want to be stuck where I cannot find a buyer on the other, um, end. So is there any way? Uh, somebody suggested to get a realtor, like get you like best assessment of the property. I don't know. Okay. Um, I need some information. So it's in Florida, the deal? No, this was saying Kentucky. Kentucky. Where in Kentucky are we talking? Uh, oof. Uh, Louisville, Lexington. No, it's not one of the big cities that I can tell you. Is it outside Close. of the big city, like a suburb? Yeah. Uh, Suburb of what city? Let me pull it up. Let me see. Let, pull it up because I, I know people in Kentucky. I can just send you. They can JV with them. They'll find a buyer for you. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's in, oh, that's not it. Uh, Baxter, Kentucky. All right. Let's, uh, let's look up Baxter, Kentucky. Um, Um, Baxter is in Harlan County, Kentucky. Let me just pull it up. Um, where in the world? That was away from literally everything. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, you're kind of by Knoxville at that point. Um, let me kind of <clears throat> see what I've got here. Um, Yeah, you're you're pretty far. Um, let me see the population. Where do you get this deal from? Oh uh, well, like I said, I'm JV with somebody else, so she gets the leads, and then I find a buyer. But like this one, like if she, I just I'm to the point that like I will if find if somebody else has a buyer and wants to JV directly with her, I'm fine with that. Like I feel bad for the the seller. Um, Oh okay, God. what's the price point on the house? Well, like she's asking, she says 75, but then like if I go to Silo, it says 38, and then uh prop screen is saying like 160. So it's like really off. It's kind Got of it. really okay. Well, there's one really good way to find comps or something like that. And do you know? Um do me a favor, don't give me the address. I don't want anyone stealing. There's a lot of people watch it. Uh, go to rentometer.com and try to put the address in and tell me what rent value comes out um, while we're talking. Because that's also a really good way to just find how much the thing's getting in for rent. Uh, that could potentially help you find the values a lot better. Uh, while yeah. you're doing that, it's rentometer.com. And uh, put the address in there. Don't tell me the address because I don't want to stealing your deal here. But 
Um, rental meter is a great one. I can tell you right now. So the point of me saying that is you can find cash flow comps and cash flow comps is basically, you can basically run a, a rough formula on the cash flow on the property and finding the value from it. Uh, so let's say we figure out the property at most will rent for a thousand dollars per month. We divide that by 1% and we figure out, Hey, worst case scenario, roughly worth a hundred thousand for, for like really rougher properties. I'm um, under hundred K. That's a really good one. So she's saying 75. Is it running for 750? Is it running for 1200? Um, let me know what pops up uh, when you do that. It will just give us a, a better amount on there and uh, yeah. kind of roughly let us know where we're at on it. So, um, so guys, it's uh, let me just make sure I got it right. It's rentometer.com, and uh, that that helps uh, a lot there. So, I'm um, just finding really what's good rent or not. So, um, uh... no, it'll pop up there, but. Yeah, well, when you're wholesaling in a very rural or rough area, I mean that county right there I saw it's like under thirty thousand population. Uh, the best thing you can possibly do is just go to propstreamlistrei.com and and really pull cash sales and cold call it. Uh, Facebook. Uh, I mean, my question for you: Did you go to the Kentucky Real Estate Investors uh, Facebook group and try to sell it on there? Mm, okay, that could be I, too. Yeah, I would definitely do that. I'm going to um, try that. Okay. Um, and nothing's coming. <laughs> Say sorry. There's not enough results in that location to generate. Yeah, there's, there's probably not much rentals there. So yeah, that's not good. So whatever bedroom, bathroom it is in there, probably what you want to do is go to the Kentucky Real Estate Investors Association Facebook group. Do not give the address or even the city. It's in Harlan County or Herland. I Just get the yeah. uh, right county. Hey, I have a three, two or whatever, whatever in Herlin County. Uh, who wants to JV on this deal? Uh, great deal or something. If it's a great deal, um, someone in that area could help you out probably in Southeastern Kentucky, uh, JV from there and get a deal. I mean, that that's Facebook would be the most powerful way to do it. Um, uh, and that probably yeah. would I do, or I would just start finding cash sales yeah. on listrei.com. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna look back into that and see if I can find anything else. Um, my second question was uh, fire damage. I have a prop a lead uh, that has fire damage, and well, second, well, first of all, like I have usually get these sellers that are very cutthroat and they're just you know, like I want these, 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 and I'm like, ah, 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 and then you know, it's kind of like they're like they want to sell it, but you know, it's, so I'm trying to figure out how to cut through that like fast pace that they go and they're just like like really close-minded you know trying to open it up because i know that like for example this one is a fire damage so i mean it could potentially take this hassle out of his way but you know uh, and i'm still trying to assess how much you know what is the how you uh assess like how much this is gonna cost yeah so it with a fire damage property it's not someone has to give the property away, but someone has to be willing to sell it. Uh, some people, if they want the most for the house, they can either do two things. Either list it with a realtor or try to sell it by yourself. But if they're not open, uh, I mean, if they're not even open to you talking, it, it probably won't even be a good wholesaling deal. Um, and that's honestly what I've seen. So uh, my best recommendation for you is... Uh, with sellers like that, I cut to the point. Hey, did you go through the four pairs with them when you're doing it? The four pillars of wholesaling: motivation, condition, time frame, price. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, where's the big issue when you're talking to them? Are they just saying, "I want this, 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 and this," and it's just nothing? Like they're not changing anything like that? um this guy in particular he calls me in well i call him and then he was just uh, yeah it has fire damage i'm trying to fix it and i have a contractor there right now um uh, but if you want it you know it's 160 and okay and then they, okay quick i was like okay let me run some numbers and i'll get back to you and he was like kind of like hang up like doesn't let me try to 
I guess, you know, talk to them like you do, <laughs> try to warm them up a little bit. Yeah. And, you know, it's very quick, kind of to the point. So, okay. Uh, yeah. There's two options here, and one option is not possible. Option one, when someone's like this, especially in our own home market, I'll go, okay, let me just meet you in person then. Like, if they're just like that, let's meet in person. And then they can't hang up on me because you can't really hang up on someone in person. You can shut the door on someone, but um, that's not an option for you. Uh, the second option here is you're going to have to use the car analogy uh, when it comes to buying a car. And, you know, you're just going fast, fast. Say, hey, 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 can I ask you one really quick question? Because they're just going a mile a minute, right? You got to slow these people down because uh, they don't want to waste their time. Have you ever bought a used car before? And I mean, you're in New York City, so some people have not. But for most around the country, they have. Yeah. Uh, they're not in the borough. So. Uh, yes, I've bought a used car before. Why are you asking me? This has nothing to do with real estate because they'll get really defensive. And well, the reason why I'm asking you is because I bought a used car before and I love test driving. Like I have to test drive before I buy it. Uh, have you ever test drove in a car before you buy Of course I do. Why would I not? Well, I'm actually serious about buying your property here, Mr. Seller. And again, I, we can go really quick on this, but a property is a big thing. Like it's not something I can just look at, you know, like looking at a phone or looking at just a carton of milk. Like I just know it is. I have to actually go in it, look at it. That's why I'm asking these questions. I'm actually serious. You should understand if someone's really serious about buying the property, they're going to be asking questions. And that's what I'm doing. Um, I can't buy a property if I don't know too much about it. And obviously I, I have to understand it. It's definitely have some fire damage. So is it okay if I ask you a couple more questions? I'm sorry if you want to hang up. If this is not right, the right time, we can always call back tomorrow. But I'm serious about buying the properties, and that's why I need to ask you some more questions. Um, that would be like, oh, shoot. Oh, okay, she's actually serious, and she's actually asking the questions. Um, sometimes you just got to put a seller in their place. And, and if, they're, if they're like, no, I don't have time for it, they're, they're not on the next one. But most of the time, that uh, shuts them up and uh, lets them get a little more open. You kind of have to uh, call them out a little. Yeah. And uh, that, that approach helps a lot for virtual wholesaling. No, okay, that's perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. I mean, I love watching you uh, do the like, cold calling because I can see how you connect with the with the sellers, and that's you how I'm trying to go. Cold calls. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna try. I'm trying to go through that route, and it in it, it's same. You know, it works when you like very like you say honest and being like transparent with them, and you know, making them understand that they are your first priority. Um, you know. Um, I mean, so that's I, what I'm trying to do. I'm telling you, like I've, I'm in Port, uh, like I'm in Port St. Lucie. A lot of New Yorkers, a lot of people from Brooklyn, like they are short to the point, and that's where I've trained it because they're like, "What price do you want for the house?" Like, and they got the accent, thick accent, and um, that's kind of where I've learned just to be like, you got to be quick. And I've said that speech I just told you, twenty different variations, but like every single month I got to throw something out like that because just people are being short with me, and I got to get going. So. Uh, it's definitely a really good one. And uh, this won't be the last time you have to deal with someone like that or anyone watching this. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, and lastly, um, do as you As many know, questions as you want. I want to help you out. I know I had like another one, but I can't remember. I actually wrote these, so that's why how I'm remembering. No worries. Uh, and last Take one, um, I'm looking into Jacksonville because it seems like it's, it's kind of hot in there. So just like, when I have like spare time. Um, do you know by any chance what's their like like an average rental co cost um, there, like per square foot? So you do have like an average. Yeah, uh, I'll pop it up for you. Just kind of do some analysis on it. So uh, really Jacksonville's, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's a really weird market. And I don't yeah, recommend just... you do Jacksonville. I think you should do Duval County, which is the county of Jacksonville. Um, Duval County, you'll have a lot better um, results. Really? Okay. I was doing the county of. Um, so let's see what the median price point is. Um, median. Oh, 256. That's nothing crazy. That's pretty average around Florida, I would say. Um, my market's basically like that, 256. So um, as you can see, it's it, it's popped up, um, but 256. So you really, for most deals, you want to be under that number. 
21 percent one year change and that's that's a lot of florida just because a lot of new yorkers people from california um illinois they're, they're all kind of moving down here and duval is kind of the one of the best weather sta- places in florida it doesn't get way too hot but um it's a great one. Um, I, 256 is probably the number there. Um, and really, average price for square foot, I don't like saying that because you, Jacksonville, you got houses from the 30s, 20s, and 1910s. And then you got properties from like 1980s, 1990s, and they're different price for square footage. So I don't like to give one general one uh, just because they're all so different. You're going to figure that, figure that out in Florida. House number one's 100K. House number two is worth like 30 and house number three is worth 500. It may, there's no rhyme and reason for a lot of these places. Uh, each street's crazy different and it takes a lot to learn this stuff. So Florida's are really weird in a lot of markets. Uh, Orlando's yeah. probably the most like centralized where they're all kind of the same. On Port St. Lucie, every street's different. That's why I got to memorize basically every street there. Uh, so it, Florida's a weird one, I, I would say. Uh, but yeah, Jacksonville's weird. I mean, comps you got to be careful of, and uh, it definitely t- Jacksonville's one of the biggest learning curves. But you can easily do very well in that uh, county. Okay, and then and renovation costs. You know how much? Because I, yeah. I know I know how I have I have an average for for Orlando, but I don't know what it is if if it changes too much as you go up. Or... Yeah, I'm gonna ask you a quick question. Do you have a prop stream? Do you have prop stream? All right, your volume's not working. Sorry, I put myself in mute. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Uh, I want you to uh, let me pull it up for you. I'm gonna try to find it here. Um, let's see. Let me try to find it. Uh, just give me a second. Um, let's see. Just pull it here. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to find the thing for you. Um, let's do Palm Beach County. Okay. Um, go here. It should be. Okay. Uh, let me show you. So give me a second. Well, I'm just trying to add it on my uh, group here to show you. Let me go to my exhibit. Okay, I'll pop it up right here. So um, I'm on PropStream, listrei.com. And since you have it, I, I can show you it like this. this is a quick hack. So I just popped up Palm Beach County because I was looking at some deals in um, Jupiter. And um, Jupiter, Florida. So that's kind of like south of me, but uh, I'll show you. So I- I'm in it right now. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to make it big for everyone. I'll, I'll zoom it in. Um, just give me a second here. All right. So we got this house. I mean, it's a nicer house. So like a, it's a good example house. Uh, nothing like too crazy on there. So um, prop stream is pretty cool because it, it gives you Basically, it lets you search per market because every market for rehabbing is completely different. Um, I learned that the hard way um, in wholesaling real estate, but um, every single one is completely different. So uh, the cool part with PropStream is um, I've shown this to a lot of people. So uh, can you see it? All right, cool. So all you got to do here is when you pop up a property, it's not like individual. It's individual. It's not like completely um, for everything, but... You go here to rehab calculator. Do you see uh, where it says tools right there? Uh, basically, you click that. I saved this property already. So um, it'll bring me to Blue Hammer, which you got, probably have to pay like 15, 20 bucks a month. But uh, with props, you may get it for free. Um, basically, pop it up here. So uh, let's gives you a little link here. So 
Uh, estimate new rehab costs. Let's call it project. It'll probably pop up. Uh, I don't know if I'm logged in or not. But um, so start here by searching the area. Which one should I do? Um, I'm going to click uh, project actions. We'll do there. So what kind of what, what kind of project do I want to do on this property? And uh, that that's when you got to decide. So let's pop it up and sort of see, right? Uh, let's do search by popular projects, right? Um, let's say it needs bathrooms, ceilings. Let, let's just say I want to add flooring. That's all. Actually, it just needs a new kitchen. It's got a bad kitchen, right? Um, it needs cabinets, cooktops. What kind of category? Let's just say mm, we're going to do counter, countertops, all right? Um, let's see. You want to add an island. We're going to get real cute and fancy, right? We're going to we're gonna make it good. We don't want it crazy good. Um, and we're just going to call it kitchen, right? Add to estimate. And your estimate's done and got it closed. Um, and then, you know, you can see it from there. And the number of line items. So it says the DIY for new kitchen. Uh, depending on the project, you know, if you're going to move the faucet, I mean, it'll give you the cost of everything here, uh, cut natural stone. Like if you're going all out on a new, like, like a $200,000 house, you're probably going to put 12 K into it, uh, labor and ins the install cost. Um, and really it's, you can do it by area too. So, I mean, you can calculate the measurements, um, area notes. You, you can really, Get all cute and fancy with it, but uh, you can definitely do your own project on there. You, you can search other popular items, but uh, Blue Hammer is really good. It's a little pricier, um, not the service, but on like actual comps and stuff of like a new kitchen. A new kitchen would probably be 15, uh, 12 to 15, and probably 10, honestly. Uh, the DIY cost will probably be 13K, so it's pretty much on par. I would include, honestly, uh, rehab, like the job cost on there 21 is a little excessive but uh 12 is pretty good and it gives you a, a decent area on you put the island you get all cute and fancy so uh it's pretty good uh, i mean um we can clear this out and sort of show you um i mean let's see i mean we can cut out like the island stuff we'll probably save you four grand so i mean you're 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 it's pretty good so it's called blue hammer all you really gotta do on prop stream is click the rehab calculator add that to your thing and uh it'll work pretty well so uh it's called blue hammer but uh it's a uh, it's powerful I, I love it so that's how i uh, do it if you do it in like new york city it's gonna that would probably be thirty thousand, honestly because just where labor things are you know in milwaukee it's probably gonna be a lot cheaper so um it's great it does it by city popular projects you can really get in the nitty-gritty of things on it Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna look into that. I had seen it, but I wasn't sure if it was like free or what. So oh, it's it's free with prop stream. Um, it's probably twenty bucks if you do it outside of it. So um, it's a it's almost a quarter of the cost of prop stream. So it's great. You also have your own website on there too. Um, prop stream lets you create your own website. Um, kind of like a uh, a lot of people call it like a carrot site. Carrot's like a hundred bucks a month and. PropStream lets you do it for free too. So a lot of really cool stuff uh, PropStream's got. Uh, I think you're muted on here. Uh, okay, perfect. Thank you. I appreciate it. I got it. You go. This guy's not going to talk no anymore. Worries, no worries. I appreciate it. Any other questions, let me know. Um, always, you can always hop on every week and uh, let me know. I appreciate it. <laughs> Have fun. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching that video today. If you want more free value for wholesaling real estate, remember to smash that like button and subscribe. Guys, if you want to join the best wholesaling real estate mentorship in the planet and join the wholesaling course that has the most people in it in the history of the world for wholesaling real estate, go to freewholesaling.com. It's free. There's no gimmicks. There's no upsells in this course. It is an absolute free wholesaling course. I've been told to charge thousands and thousands of dollars for it. I give it out for free. So like this video and subscribe. Join the movement for wholesaling real estate and go to freewholesaling.com and join my Wholesaling Houses for Real Facebook group. That is the largest mastermind in the country of like-minded wholesaling entrepreneurs who want to get connected 
absolutely for free and learn wholesaling real estate. Guys, I'll hope to see you there. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Have a blessed one.